Hello and welcome to Rat Tale. I'm your friend Adrian. And I'm your friend Chris. Welcome to Rat Tale. Rat Tale is a channel where we react to, we comment on, love on, all things new, new kids, kids on, on the, the block. block. Everyone's welcome here. Blockheads like me. And non blockheads like me. Everyone is welcome, welcome here. A little preview of what today's all about. Everyone's welcome here. We're so happy to have you. Um, it's a little bit of a mystery of what we're up to today. Um, before we get into what we're all here to do together, <laughs> um, if you're new here, Chris is going to tell you what to do. So what I'm going to tell you is that if you are not currently subscribed, you should be subscribed to so smash that subscribe button. And while you do that, our current subscribers get to enjoy this beautiful eye candy. Love it. Nice little note you hit there. Thanks. Great job. And of course, we got to take our shot because here at Rat Tail, we don't do anything without a little chug, shot, shot shoot. Shot with us, shoot with us, shot the shoot. Yeah. We've had this conversation before. Yeah. Shoot the shot. This is our favorite vodka. You can shoot anything, anything the fuck you want. Anything the fuck you want. Cranberry juice. Water. Orange juice. Milk. Sparkling water. Coffee. Coffee. Cheers. <gasps> Oh. <coughs> I'm okay. I heard <coughs> I heard some people can just throw it down their gullet. I want to learn how to do that. Pirates can do that. We also have champagne today. Now this I'm okay with. No champagne face here. Mm. Okay, so. I have a champagne face. It's just a good one. A little bit of a unique situation here, because this week's episode, guess what, folks? I got to choose it all by myself. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited about this episode. Um, and I'm just really throwing caution to the wind, because I don't really care if anybody wants... Well, I do care, but, like, I'm going to be a little self-indulgent. Are we ready for drumroll? This week... We are going to get to react to the live performance of This One's For The Children. How excited are you, Chris? Tell them. Um, I don't know if there's like a negative excitement, but it's pretty low. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, we've done this. Why? We've already done the video react. It's, well, maybe you want to watch it before you watch this. Check it's it out. actually really funny. You probably need to actually know some stuff about it. Yeah. So this is like a sequel. It's a sequel. Sequel. I love it. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm a little salty. I'm a little salty that it wasn't on the mixtape tour this year. And it's never on the mixtape tour. It was at Fenway. It was good enough for Fenway. It's not good enough for a tour. I know everyone hates it, but you should at least play it if everyone hates it. That makes no sense. It makes sense to me because I love it. Anyway, so um, how much do I love it? I'm going to show you what happened. If you followed our third part of our mixtape recap, we told you we had an after party in Sacramento. And this, what we're about <laughs> to show you. I'm being real vulnerable here. inappropriate. It's inappropriate. Some people would think it's even controversial. And it might be. And it might be. But you know what else it is? Hilarious. So we're going to show it. And it's after the after party. So we were lit. Let's show them. Don't listen to me. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, it, do it for the children. Do it for the children. What the fuck? Hold on. This is of our children. Oh, 
Oh my god. Jenny, tell us, Jenny! Okay, are your eyes bleeding? Are your ears bleeding? Mine are. Um, but this is how much I love this one's for the children. Now, it is completely inappropriate to strip to this one's for the children. I'm going to name it. But the song's a bop. But here's the thing. It, if you ignore the lyrics for a second, like, let's say... Ignore you, the lyrics. Mute the lyrics. Mute the lyrics. Listen to the beat. You can slide down a pole to that beat. There we go. Thank you. In and agreement. he was the videographer of that. I also filmed it. You can hear me being stupid in the background. <laughs> you can see, I look like a narwhal. I look like a stripper narwhal. <laughs> like just put one of those long horns and there I am, narwhaling in, in the middle of K Street, actually, Sacramento. It's actually their tooth. Oh, there I am, toothing it. Um, <laughs> it was so much fun. That was our after party. We were totally lit, after out of control. After. And I have a feeling that later on this year, you will continue to see more footage of our time. More than likely. More than likely, because there's a lot more where that came from. <sighs> so I love the song. <laughs> I know not everyone loves it, but it also, um, I set up a live performance of this one's for the children for us to watch. Okay. So it's always kind of fun to watch from the early 90s, their okay. performances. Well, Bear and Grit. <laughs> I'm going to be enjoying it every second, but if you're grinning and bearing it, you're with me. You got company, Team Chris. All the This One's fans, Team Adrian. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? This yep. was in Providence. Now, it doesn't say what state, but the only Providence I know is Rhode Island. Yes, here we go. Early 90s. Got a little Jordan soul. A little Jordan in there. Live band. No lip syncing. Look how 90s that shirt is. Who is that? That's the keyboardist. Oh. Play it easy. I like that. I'm, I chose. Is that Jordan? That's Jordan. I love this like ad living Jordan. I so I could have started it later, but no. we, we're gonna sit with the ad lib for a while. This you is, ready? This is pretty hot. Though. Get your. It's hot because this, he looks is hot. This so I can watch it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I I chose this one for you all so you can get some Jordan action. Let's just soak in the ad lib. Let's soak in the Jordan. It's like another minute. I would soak Jordan. In. Ooh. Take us to church. High and suspenders. Oh, viral. He. This is the intro to this one's for the children. And if you are giving me shit about stripping to it. We just saw a pelvic yeah. body roll. Then stop liking the new kids because he did it. He heard the beat and immediately <laughs> went into immediately went into a body roll. This is crazy. This one's for the children, and you're gonna and these children, you know what they need? They need a good dance. I mean, not of a sexual nature, but they need to be able to dance. I feel like I just uncovered the secret to life. Jordan knows what this song is about. <laughs> okay, here we go. I always thought Donnie said that part. No, but I still can't believe that we discovered the pelvic thrust roll. But not only that, but then right after that, he's like, this is a very <laughs> message. I feel like I'm Just in case it. you didn't think that, because I just was sexual. <laughs> in an inappropriate way. I love it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> The song's like a gateway drug to being a stripper. 
and we're just referring to the beats. We are Gosh, not queen. proposing anything about children and stripping. Like, let's get Absolutely back there. Absolutely not. This is only the beat. The musicality, the beats. Which is why this song is problematic and It's a it. beat. Cool. Living in this world. We don't want to strip tonight. Got children, got a mind to love one another. How hot is Jordan right now? Even with the braces, dude. How hot is Jordan? The braces right make him look hotter. Look at those gold hoops, too. Damn! Remember when we all are brothers? Guess what? I'm not trying to talk enough. Look at Joey! It's so funny because exactly how kids dress and look today. Totally. Their little perm hair top. Yep, it's come and back their around. Baggy ish, ill fitting menu clothes. Hardware hat, Donnie. Hello, oh, hardware hat. You know we love a good hardware hat. Danny, keep your eye on Danny because nice. Danny's just getting through it. You know what? Same. Dan Maybe that's <laughs> why Danny and I get along. <laughs> Danny we goes. have this mutual hatred for this song. Danny is on Team Chris. Maybe this I know why I hate it. Why? Because the lyrics don't match the beat. <gasps> this is a sexual beat in nature. These lyrics seem to be with a wholesome, like, solo piano or something. I think that's what it is. You're putting a sexy beat drop with this wholesome, let's help the children. That is oxymoron. That doesn't work. Brilliant. I think it's what Fucking it is. brilliant. That's why it's so hard for people to like or dislike because it's like, Really? It's to you're, you're being torn and you don't know why. Mind blown. Right? Mind blown. Feel it? Feel the beat? That's Sorry, so that is where, where, where down the pole. Like, ah. That's like a, you know how to do that on the pole. It's problematic. Or you the, saw me do it on the know, light pole yeah. in Sacramento. So this is, this is just validating what I just said. Right. Like, I guarantee you, you put these this song, so if you can cut out the vocals only, yeah. replay the vocals over just a piano of this song, yeah. and it sound beautiful. Yeah. It's the prob the problem is the sexy stripper beat. Okay, and the other thing real quick, um, please make sure you've watched our react, because Donnie, um, we did a drinking game in the react where we drank anytime looked like they were faking it. And Donnie was the only one that we called never, him Angel Donnie. Never faked it. Angel Donnie he loves this with the only one who genuinely was happy to be there and 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 and, and singing the song for, for what it was. So here's Donnie Angel. Let's watch. Sweet Angel. Sweet Angel Donnie. See, he's doing a proper back and forth. Yeah. No pelvic no thrust like Jordan did. Jordan's body just, because Jordan's body, I feel like we've all seen him dance. He's a great dancer. His body just knew. He knew. Oh, I know what to do. Like, it just happened. <laughs> it literally was And like, then his brain would be like, stop. It's a children's song. This is a serious song. He's talking to his body. He had a moment. He's talking to his body when he's saying that. Look at Joey. He's like... It's like an after school program, he's so upset. You are happy, and many people are sad. Some people have many things that others can only wish they had. He's trying so hard. Wait, he has three words? Yes. Borrow. People have got to know. Guess what, my favorite part? I'm not trying. I have a theory about why Joe. Are those ghosts in the background? That's the wire coming up. Oh, is it like yeah. a, a fade wire. into the new clip? Yes. Oh, I thought there was like actual no. things hanging back there. I have a theory about why Joey is looking down at the ground right now. He he's laugh. telling his brain to not do a thrust. He want, remember that he's gold like, shirt thrust you did? Yeah, check out Joey Hot as Fuck video. That's what he wants to do right he, now. He's wanting to thrust through this, but he's like, it's a children's song. And it's a children's song. And Donnie's like, this is a beautiful song. Let's just sing it and smile. Yeah. And Danny's just sitting there. Faking it. Shannon's faking it until he makes it. <laughs> that was kind of too sexy for kids. 
See, Johnny just did Johnny a snap. Head. Johnny Tittle head snap was a little too sexy for kids. See, they're having a... Because that got to me for a second. Yeah, I felt a sexual you stirring. Felt the little... The choir! The choir. Children of the world. Is there a rat tail in this one? Um, his, he's got a light pony, I think, right now. Okay. He's got something back there. Okay, I have a I have a confession. What is it? When I watch, especially these early '90s, not late '80s, but like early '90s, I'm always wondering how much ass they're getting, like on the tour bus and like in the hotel rooms because you know they're fucking beautiful. You just don't know. You know they're getting laid four well, I'm times just saying, a like, night because it's very possible they are, and it's very yeah. possible like you know like it's personal to a person. Some people just don't like doing that. But I just wonder. You just don't know. I just look at their beautiful beans and I'm like, you're getting fucked, aren't you? Okay. Children's song. I feel like if you were like a recording artist going on tour, you would have sex every night with a new groupie. Yes. You. Like that's what you want. Well, I don't know. I prefer I feel like that's what you do. I about. prefer committed relationships. No, but I feel like if you weren't in a relationship and you were on tour and these hot guys were like, Ugh. I have to think about it. I bet you did. I would have to be safe because I'm a safety girl. I, I don't like germs. I don't know. Good question. Here we go. Getting down! <laughs> His hips are trying so hard right now. <laughs> so much restraint. Danny is getting into this part though. No, that was that was he was mocking. Oh, is he mocking? That is a mocking. Mm, what a mocking bird. He's laughing, that's why he's about to laugh. <laughs> Man, I love a choir on stage! Oh, you hear that Jordan falsetto? Here it comes. Jordan falsetto! This one's for the children. Oh my heart! He's looking sexy. too sexy. That's all sexy for kids. Danny is just like, fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, John's there. That's nice. He has a greased back hairdo. Yeah. Was he there on chairs? Yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> I'm glad he's there. And he's got the greased back hairdo, which is new. His hottest look was Babe Town. Here, Danny, Danny is just like pointing to the crowd. <laughs> I've been involved. Did you hear that guitar go? That is what happens in a strip club. That's not a child noise. It's not a children guitar that noise. That's the noise that happens when you're fucking. I feel so justified now for that strip tease on K Street in Sacramento. You only hear that sound when you're drinking and about to have sex. Yes. Is it really, Jordan? I think it's for 40-year-old women. That looks like the windows to the movies when we go park up on the... Oh, it does. We can out. Yeah, we will, but thanks for making it more <laughs> You're welcome. Children. Okay, so we're gonna actually stop it there. It's been like six so minutes. Much. Um, <laughs> um, any thoughts? Or actually, can I share my thoughts first? Yes. Okay, so I really enjoyed this performance because it actually liberated a lot of the thoughts I was having inside. 
I appreciate your um, new understanding that the music doesn't match the words and that's why there's a lot of conflict for us. This performance is missing one thing. A pole? No. This performance is missing Striped Kid. <gasps> Striped Kid. Striped Kid. Hello, Stripes. Hello. Um, if you don't know who Striped Kid is, what should they watch? They should basically watch our reaction to this video. This one's for the children right here. Um, you need to find out who Striped Kid is. This is where the sequel comes into play. Yes. So Striped Kid was the little nasty boy <laughs> who like went through sticks and shit and that donkeys, I don't know what he did. He did yeah. something bad. Donnie even talks about it. There we go. Right here. Uh, this, there, you know, there's a kid in this video who looks like, you, you know, you want this one for the children to be a sympathetic video. We donated money from the song to charity, it's true. Mm. But there's this one kid in the video, man, you just see him and he just has this snarly face. And you look like he was picking on the other kids with sticks and stuff. And you just, really? You just, you know, you just want to, you just want to straighten him out. You just want to drag him to the alley where we shot Hanging Tough and meet up with M NWA and just smash him and roll him down the hill into that. It's alley. ironic the bad boy saying this, right? This guy. Yeah. He wasn't right, that kid. He wasn't nice. I personally protest. I personally protest this video. Oh, you say no? Danny. Wow. Donnie hates yeah. him. But at the end of the video, I feel like, I think we both came to the conclusion that he redeemed himself, he's a good kid, and we need justice for Stripe Kid. Hashtag justice for Stripe Kid. So Stripe Kid, and here, I'm gonna show us, and, and we'll show this to you, the progression of Stripe Kid throughout the video. So, okay. So I have a quick, it's like a mood chart. Yeah. Okay. So we can really understand Stripe Kid's progression. He starts off mean, nasty, territorial on top of the donkey. Here With a stick. Is. With the stick, with a, about to which I am gonna say is a, is a beating stick. That's what it's for. It's a weapon. What would he? Yeah. Strike kid does not play. Or is your mood kind of timid? Are you thinking about engaging? Might, might be nervous, anxious. Maybe he's just projecting. And yeah. He just wants to be there, but he's just a little kid. Or are you happy about fucking life? This was his progression. He started off pissed, mm -hmm. timid, then he got real and fucking happy. And I think happy. a lot of kids can relate to having these feelings, and they just need to know how to be themselves exactly. and be accepted and just dance the night away. And there's two dances. There's the backwards kick and the frontward kick that we're seeing here. So two different types of joy and happiness. And look how everyone's happy now. Because he's a leader. And when he's happy, everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. Hashtag justice for Stripe justice Kid. Justice for Stripe Kid. Donnie, I think you owe him an apology. Donnie, please apologize. <coughs> please. I love Stripe Kid to death. He's one of my favorites. And he's my, one of my favorite parts about the This One's for the Children life. You know, the life we live with This One's for the Children. Um... I had fun today, so thank you. You're welcome. I mean, did, I had did you fun have too. any fun? You should have so fun because I think, you came I up think, with some great things. I will say about that. I think we did come to some conclusions. Yes. And realizations. I would say we found out. Yeah. That that song is not meant for those lyrics. And that's and that's the a production problem. thing. Okay, it's fine. Like both are good on their own. They're not good together. Not good together. And when Hate you Hate me, it's fine. No. In my opinion, but actually I think it's fact yeah. that that beat and those instruments do not go with those lyrics. I'm telling you, right. that song should have been like a nice, very simple instrumental piano, something very calm and beautiful. Maybe a little drums at the end, a little violin, whatever. But when you have that stripper sound and that wow guitar, uh -huh. I mean, Jordan's body said it all. Well, I was just about to say, when you have Jordan that is holding back his pelvic lead thrust, mm -hmm. you know there's a problem. And when Jordan's body can indicate yeah. a sexual move, yeah, it's a sexual song. song. But so. his body's only listening to the music, not the lyrics. Yeah. 
Thank you all so much for joining us. Yes. We hope you had fun. We have a big episode. Or you didn't. And that's or funny too. Know. We have a big episode next week. Um, where Make sure to join us. Yes. Hit subscribe. And where are the five locations they can find us? Well, they can find us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and right here on YouTube. Love it. We love you. We do love you. And we will see you next week. We will. Mwah. Mwah. Did we have five last time? I don't know. So there's one for last time.